Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say your name, Kenny. Yeah, my name is Kenneth. Um, stage name, last year. This is Kenneth right here, as well. My name is Quindell Evans. Bluepoetry.com, and I'm the author of the mouth book, Messages of the Hill. M O U T H is an acronym for the message of Uplift to Hill. And that's all that should be coming out of your mouth. You hear me? It's Messages of Uplift to Hill, the mouth book. And Kenny has just skimmed through the book. You feel me? You, you just skimmed through a little bit of a little a few seconds, a few minutes. That's right. And what did you think of it from, from your skin? Um, I think this can actually play as a hundred words of the universe in life, actually. Because although this is so affirming uh, literature, it still can be a lot basis, step by step, law. Because laws were all um, manifested through uh, thought, you know, careful thought. Uh, people took a lot of time writing the wrong in the game. But um, this here, is, it, it, it kind of gives you the context of, uh, okay, if we do this, then this will happen. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, I, I think this this as a whole, as a, as a piece, of piece of literature, is, is powerful. Even just skimming skim through this, you know what I'm saying? Just paraphrasing. You know, um, this is this is um, some dope literature, and I like on the back it says healing fun, interactive, spiritual power. He's going. I'm a I'm a proud believer in whatever you say, you know, out of your mouth will come back to you because that's how the universe works. So uh, I think this is a natural book. I honestly think it should actually add laws there. Maybe okay, laws. I like that. I think I think I think that would be good as well. Because this is something God committed with so many laws and adherence to them. Because they are 50. You, it looks like you added another 50. Okay. So okay. So, okay. So, so, thank you for that. I like that. It's universe with Lord. <laughs> I like the perspective. I like the fact that there's divine order in things. You know what I'm One of the laws is like whatever you you know, whatever you sow is what you reap it or something like that. You feel me? That's how it goes. Yeah, what you what you reap, you, you shall reap. Whatever, right? But yeah, <laughs> like whatever you put out, you get back in. Whatever you know, so whatever you have in, you give out. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. So like the mouth book, whatever you say out your mouth, literally comes back to you. So like that's a law. I didn't think about it in that way. So I'm definitely you know excited to hear your feedback on that. Like you know, it should add laws. So the reason he said a hundred laws is because there's a hundred affirmations in the book. You feel me? A hundred affirmations. Originally, he created by me. And he equated those affirmations to be laws, you know, because he seen, after skimming through, he seen those as more than just words, but more or less also laws. You know, laws that if you follow, your life will be better, I guess. I think we can kind of uh, coin a boomerang effect. Because when you throw something you bring and it comes back, it's like a seed. So, this, honestly, you know, just to be unbiased, this is, this is good stuff. We were going through So, honestly, I think this would be a, you know, a guidebook or maybe 100 years later after it's encapsulated. Maybe people of other generations can probably look at it. Honestly, I think it, I think it's the worst. Like from no, from an honest place, I really think it's the worst. Well, no, thank you. No, for real. Well, no, I can't wait for the hundred years. To come back. Well, well, most definitely. <laughs>